Hello guys, this is Nikhil Bansal from Illuminate Minds. So today we are going to do the program on how to find out unit digit last date of any number. Look at the sample input. So irrespective of the number and its power, right, we will be able to find out the unit digit of a number. Now let's look at the problem closely. Let's say if somebody gives me the sample output this. How will I be able to reach to this answer and the theory as well as the code part of it, right? So when somebody asks me unit digit, what does that mean? It means the last digit, right? Whatever will occur over here in the last place is that the, that is the answer to the question. Now, which digit in, among all these is responsible for giving me the answer, which is this? So when the number, the big number has been raised to a certain power, that will not have any problem. The, the reason behind the answer will be this digit only. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 will happen multiple number of times. But this is it. So whatever is written before here is irrelevant to the question. That's one thing. Okay. Now, we are not only trying to solve this problem. We also we are also trying to reach to solve the other, trying to solve the other problems also of the same kind. So this time 3 is occurring at the last digit. In some other question, 5 will be there, 7 will be there, 9, 2, 0. So overall there are 10 digits which can come over here. So let, let me write which all digits are the contenders for this post. So all the digits are contenders for this post and I will obviously I will keep on making different sort of questions by writing different digits over here. Correct. So now I am dividing this all the digits into two brackets one is odd bracket the other is even bracket correct now among these 10 contenders for this post which will be the sole reason why anything will occur at the last digit there are certain easy numbers the easy numbers are 0 6 1 and 5 so if you strike off these four digits, why I am striking off these four digits? Because 0, 6, 1 and 5 have got the unique ability that when they get multiplied with itself, at the last digit you will get the same number. So 5 into 5 is not 5, but 5 into 5 is 25. Correct? So last digit will still be 5 only. Similarly, 6 into 6 will be 36 and 36 into 6 will also be 216. So last digit will be same as the number itself. Right, that's one part of it. Now, the other part is about the rest of the six digits. So, when we will be writing the program, we will be taking one case into consideration where 0, 0, 6, 5 and 1 are occurring. Then, we will make it a one case and for the other digits, we will try to make the other case. Now, let's look at the other numbers. 2, 4, 8, 3, 7, 9. Now, look at the theory part of it. This is important, guys. So, if there is any number which has got 2, 4 or 8 at its last place. Just a minute guys, there is some issue. So, if there is any number and so if there is any number which has got 2, 4 or 8 at its last place and if I raise that number to power 4, I will always get 6 at the unit place. So, I will always get 6 at the unit place. You can try it yourself also. 2 to the power 4 will give you 6 at the unit digit. Similarly, 4 to the power 4 will give you 6 at the unit digit. And similarly, 8 to the power 4 will also give you 6 at the unit digit. Similarly, any number which has got 3, 7 or 9. And if I raise that number to power 4, I will always get 1 at the unit place. Guys, I hope you are understanding this thing. Now, what? So, 3 to the power 4 will have 1 at its last place. That's what we are claiming, isn't it? But think about 3 to the power 8 also. What will happen to 3 to the power 8? 3 to the power 8 is nothing but 3 to the power 4 into 4, which will be 1 into 1. Are you getting my point? So, it's not only about 4, it's also about 4k. So, any number which has been raised to the power 379, any number which has got 379 at the unit place and has been raised to a power which is a multiple of 4, you will always get 1 at the unit place. 
So these are the small things that are going to help us in this entire thing. And similarly over here, any number which is, which is of the format 2, 4, 8 and if I raise to the power 4k, I will always get 6 at the unit place. So what about the rest? What about the rest means? Supposedly if I have to answer this question, how will I handle it in my program? So I am pretty sure by this that 3 to the power because these digits are, imp are not important to me. What is important to me is the power now. So I will be able to crack 3 to the power 3179, correct? 3176. So 4k means 3176. Now, what else? What about the rest of the three numbers that are left? What are the three cubes that which is left? So how will I handle this? So 3 to the power 3176, it's pretty clear. That's the closer highest multiple of 4. So I will divide this 3179 in the program by 4 and I will get the remainder either 0, that means the number itself, the power itself is divisible by 4 or it will give me the remainder 1, 2 or 3. Now how, how will I handle this 0, 1, 2, 3? That's another problem. Nothing. So 3 cube, I will do 3 cube. If let, if let's say if the remainder is 3 cube, 3, what will I do? I will multiply the 1 which I have got as 3 to the power 3176. So the, the, the that I have got 3 to the power 3176 into 3 cube, correct? Now what I will do is, obviously I know that the 1 will occur at the last place of this. And what about 3 cube? 3 cube, I will multiply this number with 3 cube, so it will get 27, correct? So I will multiply 1 with 27 and eventually I will get 27. And I will take the last digit, I will convert it into string and take the last digit of it and that will give me the answer. Same I am going to do over here, correct guys? So let's proceed guys to the other part. Let's start writing the code. Okay. So this program is all about unit digit. So let's write down over here unit digit. Now as far as the input is concerned, we require two inputs in this case. One is the base and other is the power of it from the user. So now Listen very carefully what I will take. I will not take int input this time. I will take input only because by default in Python it's a string and that will help my cause. So the first input that I'm looking from the user is will be stored as string over here. Okay, so input the number that's the base number. In other number I will take it as the integer, the power. Okay, input the power of the number. Correct guys. Now what next? Next I need to take the length of the x which I have picked up as string. So which will be length of x but I will also subtract 1. Why I am subtracting 1? Because I will have to capture the last digit 3123 if you remember. Alright, so this is something I am writing it down for clarity sake. So 3123 the base value is here and the power of something like. So let me write this as 5123 so there is less amount of confusion. And this the power is let us say 3147. Right, so when I will take the length of x, the length of x obviously will be 4, I can see, I hope all of you understand this. But I want the value of L to be 3, because in case of string, this will be 0, this will be 1, this will be 2, this will be 3, when I will be capturing it. So I have reduced it by 1 over here itself. Now, one case is that xl, that means the string, with L that the value of L will be what? The value of L will be 3, right? Length, length of X is 4, minus 1, 3. So this will capture this 3 over here, correct guys? If XL is equal to 0, right? Or for clarity sake, I am writing 
complete if, if Excel is zero or Excel is one. I hope you remember that's what we did in the theory or five or seven six then the answer is the excel the whatever is stored in excel string that's the answer itself so i just need to print that so my this part of the work is done so obviously you will be able to do all this once you know the theory thing, part of it else there will be problems right excel is the unit digit correct guys so i have taken off this bracket so i need to place this bracket so that's it now what about the rest condition now rest condition we have made three cases isn't it 0156 was one case then we said 248 we will do something else and 357 will do something else but here we can merge them also let's see and so the making program for that will be an easier task than with the aptitude theory look carefully guys <coughs> now what i will do next is i will divide y is 3147 the power so i will divide y by 4 and get the remainder of this so i hope you understand the value of j will be i'm writing it down the value of j will be either the value of j will be either 0 or 1 or 0 or 1 just a minute it will be 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 correct guys so now the other case so this is the remainder it will be 0 1 2 3 or 3 because i am dividing it by 4 i am dividing 3 1 4 7 by 4 over here next is i will make this the last part of it as an integer that means excel string ka last wala int correct what i have done over here is this is wrong this is wrong yeah so the last part of the string three this three i have converted now into an integer so k is having that value now i will multiply i not i will multiply i will raise k the last integer so in case of this three and here i will get the remainder three so over here the z the value of j will be actually if i take this example it will be three so what i am doing now is i am raising three to the power three correct guys so i am raising three to the power three how will i do that i will do this to get it now what i will store i will again make it a string and extract the last place of it not 27 of k correct so i will convert into string and now again i will take the length of this length of p i am taking small steps only so that everyone can understand so i have again converted into string the 27 and now what i have taken the length of it now i will print okay this is the second this is the length or again the same thing z minus 1 either i should have subtracted it over here i could i can do this also minus 1 and now i will take the z is the unit digit correct guys i hope it's okay no syntax error i can see so let's start let's run this program now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay this bracket is an extra error. okay right so let's run this 
and five one two three input the number input the power three one four seven and seven is the right answer i will try for some more outputs so let me shift this to this side input the number four one two 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 four three five Eight is the answer. So this is the answer. I will take that also. The other thing, zero one five six. So let's take three one two five. Power four five seven nine. Answer is five. So that's it, guys. We are done with this program. In case of any issues, please write in the comment box. Thank you.